Okay, so we're going to be continuing the housekeeping here with setting things up in this Divi install by doing some basic WordPress setup. So we're going to start here on the settings page and go to general. And here, of course, you can set the name of your store. And I will just say Divi Engine Marketplace or whatever. If I can type nicely, that'd be great. There we go. And you can give it a tagline, whatever you want. You, you if this is a live site, of course, you're going to put your email address in there for the administrator and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and save that up. And next up, we're going to go to the reading. And here we're going to set the static page for our site. So what we want is we're going to make the shop page our landing page. So that is when they type in the, the URL, it's going to pull up that page exactly. So we're going to make it the shop page. I'm going to go ahead and save that search engine visibility option is not otherwise who's going to be able to find you if the crawlers for like Google and Yahoo and all of those fun search engines can't find your site. So pay attention to that. Of course, also you're going to want to come down here to the permalinks. And what we want to make sure here is that we've got this set up for post name over here. And then down here also, you can set your custom base for your product. So if you want to, let's say you only sell candles. So maybe you, instead of calling this product, you'll just say candles. It's going to be entirely up to you how you do this, but that is the setup we've got going on here. Now there are some other options for you that you can go with up to you, how you want to do it. Everybody's use case and application might differ. So that's going to be it for the settings here. Now, one of the other things we're going to want to set up here to make sure that things are acting and working the way that we would like it to is a menu. So let's go to appearance and let's go to menus. Now my base site that I cloned within local already has a menu in here, but let's delete that one so that we can start fresh with you guys. Okay. So to add a menu, of course, you just give it a name and I'm just going to call it main nav for main navigation. And I will select primary menu here and create menu with that created. Now we can start adding links. Now there are going to be a few of the pages, of course, that we have, um, that we want in here. This setup here on the left makes it very easy to just go ahead and add them. We know we're going to want cart my account for sure. There we go. See how easy that is. Now, if you wanted to add specific products and stuff like that, all this stuff will show up there or your categories, product categories, maybe that's something we'll add a little later. But for the time being, um, what we'll do is we are going to go to custom links here and we will just put a forward slash because we're going to put it link for home. So I'll add that in there. And then maybe you also want to have, uh, you know, something about about us or something like that. I'm going to put a placeholder in there right now and just say about and add that in there. Cool. So let's reorganize these so they make a little bit more sense. Home should be first, about probably second, and then we'll have my account and cart. Now WooCommerce does add a cart icon automatically. So what I'm going to do with this one instead is I'm going to nest it underneath my account. Now you can add some other endpoints here also, where you can go ahead and say maybe account details. So you can add that one in there and you can nest it underneath here. That's going to be entirely up to you, but we're going to be using some body commerce features here in a little bit that will kind of change the way that we use this, but we want this in there so we can get started. So with that in there, I'm just going to go ahead and save everything. And now I can go ahead and say visit site. And here we go. Beautiful, right? <laughs> no, it's not, of course, but we have our menu up here that we want. We've got all these different elements in the header. Maybe some of them we want, some of them we don't want. Um, we're not really going to get too deep into building a header in the theme builder or anything like that. There are many courses by ourselves actually, that'll show you how to do this. So we're going to stay focused on functionality, but there is like one little thing that we'll do a little bit down the road, which I will get into later. Cool. So that is our basic setup within WordPress. Now, actually, before we continue, I also want to show you just a little bit efficiency advice that. I think you should be employing. I'm going to do it here. I don't want to keep redoing stuff. So I'm just going to go and open up the theme customizer and quickly select some global fonts, some global colors, 
that type of thing that we'll be using on our site. So first thing I'm going to do is go into the general settings for our site. Now, you know, of course, we have covered this in many of our tutorials. So this is just going to be showing you where the stuff is that I'm going to be working on. But you go and do it on your own time. So we're going to be setting up typography right here. We can select your fonts and the colors and all that fun stuff. You can go ahead for the site identity. You can go ahead and add a site icon. You can again change the name of the site. You can select your type of layout. You can do a box layout, anything like that. We're not dealing with that right now. And the only other thing really that I'm going to be messing with here is the header and navigation. Since we just added this menu, I don't want my search bar to be up there. So when you go to header elements, I'm going to switch that off. You can add your social icons too if you like. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to go back now. And then, yeah, with the primary menu bar, there's a bunch of settings, depending on how you're going to be setting this up. So if you build something with a theme builder, of course, all of this will be overridden. So keep that in mind as you go through the process of setting all of this up. Now, the last thing that I usually also always do is to set up my basic button style. So the button style I'll be using on things like add to cart buttons and checkout buttons, all that fun stuff I'll set up here because then on each individual module, I'm not left to go ahead and do that stuff. So keep that in mind. Try to work as efficiently as possible. You can even use global presets within Divi, but that's not what this course is about. Of course, it's all about body commerce. So this is even going a little bit too far, but I wanted to make sure that you guys are aware so that you're working smarter and not harder. So when you're done with that, just hit publish and you'll be good to go. You can see that these items are already gone. So when I close this out, there we go. So rock and roll guys.